Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick eye look using my Dream Street Kathleen Lights and ColourPop uh, collaboration. Collaboration. Today is my mom's birthday and we're gonna go probably, we're gonna have like a dinner here and then we're gonna go to the movies to see The Greatest Showman. So I'm not going for like a crazy look today, just like a neutral one I guess. Before this intro gets too long, let's just jump right in. So first I am going to be doing my eyebrows and I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia dip brow and just doing my eyebrows. I don't wanna make them too harsh because I'm not trying to uh, get full glam, if you know what I mean. So for my mom's birthday, we're gonna see The Greatest Showman and this is actually gonna be my third time seeing it in the movie theaters. Um, in three weeks because I saw it two weeks ago, I saw it last week, and I'm going to see it again today for my mom's birthday. She just liked it so much because she saw it with me last weekend with one of my friends. And she liked it so much that she wants to see it again for her birthday, but like with my dad and my brothers and stuff like that. So, we're going to do that today. If you haven't seen that movie, oh my god. That movie's just so good. Every single aspect of that movie, like the opening scene... It gives me chills every single time I see it. It's so good. I don't understand. It's like, like the cinematography of it. It's like legit just chills every single time I see it. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape and just outlining that with a angled brush. And I love doing this because honestly, sometimes I'm just a hot mess when it comes to my eyebrows. And this just helps shape them and conceal all my problems. And I got a lot of them, so. I feel like every time I do one, like, like I do this with, to my eyebrows, I feel like one of those like Instagram makeup people. I, I see all these like makeup gurus and stuff posting these pictures and they just look absolutely flawless and like not awkward when they're posing. like. How do you do that? Like, I feel like I have to have a full-on photo shoot just for my Instagram. It's so difficult. Everyone out here looking so good on their Instagrams. And I'm out here looking like a boiled potato. Like, I can't, I can't take any good pictures. It's terrible. Maybe I'll, like, learn. I'll get someone to, like, tutor me on Instagram or something. Eyebrows looking good. So we're going to move on to my eyes which are the stars of the show. So I'm going to be taking my blank eyeshadow primer, black always, and just putting that on my lids. I'm just going to buff that in. Make sure that's nice and blended. I'm just going to be setting my eyeshadow primer with the Wet n Wild Contour and... No. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm just going to take the highlight shade right here because it's really powdery, so I feel like it covers a lot. And I'm just going to cover all of that primer. All right, so we are going to jump into the Kathleen Lights Dream Street Palette. And we are going to take... Are they, like, directly behind? I, I always have this problem. Like, I don't know if the names are directly behind the eyeshadows or if you're supposed to read them... Like, if, I don't know. Alright, well we're just going to take this first shade right here and just buff that into our crease. So how was everyone's long weekend? It was Martin Luther King Day yesterday, so I basically just spent it at my house. And I watched Impractical Jokers all day. If you haven't seen that show, oh my goodness, you need to. It's so hilarious. It's on True TV. And they were having like a marathon. Oh my god, I literally watched it for probably like seven hours straight. It was so funny. And then I just took a super long nap after that. And it was just the laziest day ever. And I couldn't ask for anything more. And during the weekend, I mean, I didn't really do much either. I don't think I did. Oh, I went to Roundup. If you guys don't know what that is, Roundup is a country line dancing place, and on Sundays it's like family night. So I went to Roundup for the first time in like, I'd probably say like a year, like a solid year I haven't been there. 
and it was so fun i missed it so much i used to like live at roundup when i was in high school i would go with like my friends whenever there wasn't school on a monday and then like all throughout summer i would go every single weekend but i haven't gone since i've been in college basically um i'll go like maybe once every couple months but i went again with a bunch of my friends and it was so fun i missed it so much i did post a video of me line dancing on my instagram so you check that out but it was just it was really fun so now that our creases are nice and warm we're going to be taking this little like reddish shade right there and putting that also into our crease but like a little bit lower so this is more blown out like i like to take this basically up to my brow bone kind of thing and like just leave like this part without it i don't know so i like to blow out my eyeshadows as much as possible So I'm kind of like in this place in my life where I don't have a good Netflix show to watch because I like watched all the ones I wanted to. So like what should I watch? What are some good shows that you guys are watching that are probably on like Netflix or Hulu that I could watch? Help you grow out. I like watching a lot of TV on my downtime. And I, I like to binge watch a lot because I usually can't sleep at night. So I kind of just watch TV shows and I'm kind of stuck. I took this darker shade right here and just trying to intensify the outsides of my eye. I'm going to be taking my flat brush and spraying it with my setting spray. And I'm gonna be going in with this last shade right here which is the shimmer shade. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take it to like right after my pupil, I was I guess. Like to the like three fourths at the end of my eye. And just kind of blend it into my other eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush to do that also. And I'm also gonna focus it right up to my crease. As if I was doing a cut crease, but without like the concealer and stuff like that, just like with the eyeshadow. Now I'm just gonna take my brush and just blend out the sides. We're gonna move on to the face. And I'm gonna be taking my Dr. Brand Pores No More Luminizer Primer and just placing that on my face. So now that the primer is on, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 104, which is golden beige. Which is probably a little tan for me right now, but we'll work with it. And I'm going to take it on my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And just work that in. And I like to do light layers with this because it does have some pretty good coverage to it. Put some Dominic, because clearly this is the wrong color. <laughs> I'm so pale, guys. It's not not okay. Like, I live in Miami. I shouldn't be this pale. But then again, here I am. So, to clean up my eyeshadow, I like to just take the flat part of the Real Technique sponge and kind of just make a line with it. Just to sharpen it up a little bit so it doesn't look like a hot mess. You can also do this when you're doing your concealer, but either one works. Now for concealer, I'm going to go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and conceal all my uh, imperfections and highlight. And I've actually really been into using this little sponge for my concealer. And this is basically, it's like, it comes in a set with this one. It also brings like this weird shaped one. I haven't found a use for this one yet. Not too sure what this is for. Um, so yeah, I don't use this one, but I do really, really like this one. It's like, it's just really soft. Like it's, this one's a little bit more dense than this one. And it's so little that I can get in between my brows with no problem. Like, it's just really nice. I enjoy it a lot. And it gets right up in there with your eyes. Now I'm just going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and set everything. 
my footage did cut out so if you didn't see I contoured with my highlight and contour palette my Abby Y Beauty contour palette and I just bake I'm baking the sides of my nose right now so I'm just bronzing with my Bahama Mom bronzer we're getting it done so now that I don't look as pale we're gonna bring some color to my cheeks and we're gonna take the color pop to the 10 blush looks like this and it's so nice because it's it's subtle but it still brings that little of like um you're like we're just out in the sun and you look all like sun kissed and stuff but you know we're faking it because <laughs> your girl's scared of the sun mm -mm. the sun and me just don't get along I'm gonna take the pure palette that we got in the boxy charm and I'm gonna take the highlight shade which is afterglow I'm just gonna pop that onto my cheeks so this is more of a like golden highlight which I appreciate because I am a very yellow tone now if you know me at all this is nice this is really nice but I can't just wear one highlight that's like against everything I stand for so I'm gonna take my ColourPop flexitarian and put that on top of that if you're not blinding them you're not doing it right that's like that's like my metaphor in life I don't I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and highlight my brow bone y'all I don't know who I'm kidding this is not a toned down look at all. What? I, like, how did this, I don't know. So, lettuce, lettuce. What? Anyways, I'm going to set my face with my Slay All Day um, setting spray. I should really invest in, like, a fan. So I don't have to do this every single time, but I'm... Um... Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on with my tardy, tardist, not tardiest, tardist, my tardist mascara. Alright, so moving on to my lips. I'm going to be taking the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in Posh. Posh. Okay, so that is the finished look. Hope you guys liked it. It's definitely a little bit not as subtle as I was planning for, but I do really like this palette. The pigmentation is amazing. I really want to have some fun with these colors right here. Let's see. We'll see what I do next, but I really do love everything ColourPop and everything Kathleen Lights. They're both amazing, and I hope you guys like this look that I created. It is a little bit over the top for the movies, but hey. I'm pretty over the top, so. <laughs> so with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you want to be aware of when I post, click the little bell down below and you'll be notified for when I upload, which is going to be every Tuesday and Friday. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. It means the world to me. And I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.